Hey guys, welcome back to Bows Fan TV and today we're doing the match preview for our game against Shamrock Rovers in the Dublin Derby. Um obviously I, I did a reaction to the Shales game, so I've kind of already touched on it, but you know, good win, good win. Um will give us a lot of confidence going into this. Um you know, Dublin Derbies they're always very cagey games. It could, it could really go either way. Rovers have been playing well recently. I think they're unbeaten in their last seven or so. So it's it's not going to be easy. We're gonna, really going to have to work hard for the for the points if if, if you want them. Um, <clears throat> and you know, Rovers got a, a win there against Dundalk. Um, a one nil win. You know, they had a bit of a shaky start. Um, he lost a couple of games to Pats, and I think he lost to Derry. who were kind of considered they're kind of made to kind of royals for the title um i think pat's kind of dropped out but now it's kind of it's going to be between rovers and Derry, i'd say um and you know our record against rovers at daily Mount is, is quite good i think they've only won about three three times there in about five or six years so it's it's it's, it's a good good record that, that we have against them at, at daily Mount, and um hopefully that continues um on friday um, I'd probably keep the same team that played against Shells. Uh, so Talbot, Murphy, Horton, Kelly, Wilson, Levinston, Devoy, um, Burt, Coop, Twardick, and Junior. I know some people might say, well, why, why not start Promise or Flora as well? You know, I think when you've won a game and you've won it in a convincing manner, it's it's I think it's the right thing to do to kinda of keep the team, keep the high momentum going into the next game. <clears throat> so, you know, Promise and Jordan Flores, they they'll be useful off the bench as well if we need them to come on if we're if we're losing one nil with a few minutes to go or half an hour, twenty minutes to go, we can bring them on and maybe they can make a difference. Um but I expect it to be quite a cagey game. It always is at Daily Mount. I think it's a bit more open at Tallaght. It's still quite cagey, but you know, I think at Daily Mount, it's where the atmosphere is is a bit more hostile. Um, obviously, it's a smaller stadium. The pitch is a little bit kind of not tighter, I guess, but you know, it's kind of smallerish, and you know, it's 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 a bit more of a cagey or affair uh, <clears throat> when it's played at Daily Mount and. You know, as fans, we have to make it as hostile as possible. I think you know that think that can that will really get under the Rovers players' skins. You know, we've we've seen in the past they do kind of go in their shells a little bit when they when we play them at Daily Mount. They, they're a little bit scared. I think when they come and play us at home, um, and you know we've got to keep that keep the that going really. You know, we've got to make it hostile again. I know people have kind of questioned the atmosphere it's not as good as it kind of used to be uh, a lot of kind of new fans coming into F and G and it's not really the same the atmosphere which you know listen it's, it's hard to say really with new fans coming in and kind of you know some people think that's spoiling the atmosphere a little bit but listen when you're down there in F and G it's, it's up to use as well us as, us as fans as well to create the atmosphere um you know to, to make this game as difficult for hours as possible i know people on on social media are angry that block a is closed off you know which some people kind of see that as kind of a roll in the red card but for them a little bit which you know i can see why really you know we, we want to make it difficult for them we want to give them appeals really that's that's what it's all about in the dublin derby you know the, the, the Robert players get some abuse from us in, in the games, especially, you know, I can only imagine what kind of reception players like Lyons are going to get, Danny Manager, Dylan Watts, Roberto Lopez, you know, these types of players are going to get a lot of abuse tomorrow. Um, and some people kind of see it as, well, why are we closing off block A, you know, it's, it's, we want to make it hostile and, you know, we, we get that. And but I think that the club, you know, they obviously don't want to do it, but they're kind of forced by the FAO and the, the Guardian and all, you know, all that kind of stupid stuff, but um, more on the game, you know, it's going to be cagey, you know, that for a fact it always is in derbies, it's, it, they're, all, they're always kind of decided by an odd goal or two, if, if anyone can get the win, you know, I think, I think it's going to be a draw personally, I just kind of see it going that way, 
you never know though what Daily Mount we always seem to kind of turn up and, and get a win against them, especially in recent years. You know, we we won that three one at the back end uh, at the back end of last season against them, um, and we played well. And I know there were no Rovers fans there, but we we the atmosphere was was good. It was there was a lot of hatred in the stadium. A lot of people kind of, you know, getting the frustrations off their chest really by with the abuse that we were giving certain players. But it's 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 all that's what it's all about, really, isn't it? You know, some other fans from League of Warden Clubs might make may look at and think, oh, they're going a bit too far, you know, it's 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 getting a bit, you know, kind of, a little bit too, kind of, you know what I mean, you know, especially with what happened with Stephen Bradley and Keith Long last year, them getting, the, having a little bit of a scrap on the touchline and them about getting sent off and, you know, it kind of led to a few fights, but that's, that's the thing, you know, it's two very passionate teams that will just want to win and, yeah, I expect the same tomorrow. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm gonna go for a draw. I think it's gonna be cagey. Very kind of. I don't expect it to be brilliant football kind of football and kind of game. You know, I know we have a lot of kind of quality in the midfield. You know, they've got Boron, Mandrew, Richie Taylor, I suppose, even though he hasn't really played. They've still got you know he's still a good player and they still got a lot of quality there. You know, as the way going forward, we look really good against Shell, so you know we we could definitely cause them a few problems. Um, but a draw, a one all draw, I think is probably what I'm gonna go for. But yeah, just go in there, give it your all, and let's, let's just hope we can, we we can maybe get a win. Um, but yeah, I really don't know what to say. It's it's gonna be such a a toy game, but I think I fancy the draw. Uh, that's where I'm going to end the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment down below your thoughts heading into the game, your score predictions, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.